Welcome to MFAA on air. I'm a psychologist. I've worked in uh, uh, psychology, um, helping and assisting with uh, with people with various mental health and wellbeing problems for about the last 25 years. I've worked in the corporate sector a lot. I'm working with employers as to how they look after their employees and helping them deal with mental health in the workplace, uh, and particularly in terms of both assistance to people as to what's effective and also prevention in terms of their not only their mental health problems but also their mental and psychological wellbeing from a positive point of view as well. I think I'm being part of the panel that my input really is is understanding and helping the association uh, look at psychological well-being, whether it's to do with um, mental illness and, and mental health problems, but also more broadly everyone's uh, mental and psychological well-being, whether it be with brokers themselves and also um, their staff and their people. To give you some perspective about the, the rates of mental health issues in the in the workplace. Going back 10 years, uh, it was measured at around 14% generally in Australian working population. Um, more recently, the figures seem to be around 20%. In terms of the financial industry, and particularly with people running their own businesses, um, there aren't any clear, hard and fast data on it, but from my own experience, I would expect that it's around, around 20 to 25%. So I think it's, it's certainly above the average, and because there are additional um, pressures, particularly in, uh, in managing a business. I think with, with women um, in the broker community, it's a, it's a double-edged sword. I think that it, will help, it helps the rates because they bring a different style to uh, the workplace. And so that diversity is really important in terms of the well-being of people. But on the other hand, there are particular pressures on women as well in the workplace, which, which adds to their sort of stress levels. So it, it, it can help, but there are also some, some challenges with it as well. Look, in my experience, in terms of working with people from various workplaces, uh, men can be, uh, just like with any health issues, they can be the biggest challenge. They don't readily um, seek help and they don't readily admit um, what they see as a, a weakness. So the idea of understanding and some self-awareness and how to get help and, and normalising that and taking the stigma away is a, a, an important initiative here because it's going to make it easier for men to get the help they need and make it easy for them to get. You've been watching MFAA on air.